I've played Riven non-stop for 7 years long. 7 years I've been grinding with Riven with over 5 million mastery points on this champion and reaching challenger on 4 different regions. There's a lot of things that I have to say. First though, I'd like to say that this video is being sponsored by Pro Guides. A lot of people have been messaging me that they have been on a losing streak and they always ask how do I start winning. I always say go to ProGuides.com which has the best videos on getting better at League. They have courses with pro players, they have champion tier list and matchups that tools, and they have 24-7 challenger coach who you can talk to anytime. And they really work at getting you to a higher division. It's got everything you need to get better at League all in one place. I highly recommend it, check out the link in the description below. Everything started off for me back in the days of season 1. I was being invited by a really good friend of mine, a good friend that I used to play games with every single day. And when we started to play League of Legends, I wanted to become one of the best players just with one specific champion only. Back in the days, I've already had the mentality to become a one trick in the game. Before one tricking was even a thing, I was already looking out to become one of them. The only problem was that back in those days, back in the days of season 1, you've only had a total of 40 champions right at the end of the season. So you did not really have that many many champions to choose from. So in those days, I decided to become a main of two champions at the same time. The two champions I'm talking about is Gangplank and Nocturne, and the reason why I took two of them is because in those days, you did not really have that many champions, so the chance was really high that somebody would go and pick your champion. After playing with these two champions for a few months, I eventually found a new champion to play, something a lot more fun, a lot more skill and everybody was talking about it, it was Lee Sin. After I bought this champion, after I bought Lee Sin, I've had so much fun playing. I've dropped all of the other champions entirely and I kept on playing this champion until the release of Riven. Riven got released to the game and a few months later, this was the moment I bought Riven and I've actually tried her out for the first time. I did not pick her up immediately. I did play her but Lee Sin was still my main and this was also the moment I started to play ranked for the first time. Month after month of playing the game, I realized that Lee Sin is fun, but I actually enjoyed playing Riven a lot more than Lee Sin. So I was playing both of the champions at the same time. Lee Sin for the ranked games, and if I would play normal games, I would play Riven. Season 3 has came to the game, and this was the moment where I dropped Lee Sin entirely, and this is where I went to play Riven only. In season 3 I started to play ranked only, the first season where I've actually gone and played ranked only for the first time. I've gone from silver 5 to platinum 1 in only 2 months of time, only 2 months. As soon as I got to Platinum 1, that's the moment where I dropped Lee Sin and went Riven only. Season 3 has been so much fun, if you were a Riven main, this was the best season of your entire life. She was super strong, nobody knew how strong she was. She was in fact super broken and whoever played Riven, you could get super far. I was having so much fun with her in season 3, she was amazing, but it didn't really last that long because at the end of the season, people have figured out how broken she truly was. She was being banned in about 90% of every single ranked game that you were about to play. She was unplayable, you could never go and pick this champion. So Riot came down and balanced Riven completely, that's the moment where she lost her super broken shield and her amazing amazingly overpowered damage. Season 4 has came to the game and Riven was the biggest joke champion of the game. Every single game that I was about to play, people were super mad because I played Riven. It was the season of tanks. Everybody wanted to have tanks in the game, but I played Riven. Every single time I played Riven and everybody flamed me. Nobody played Riven anymore at the time because the Riven nerf was so big that nobody wanted to play this champion anymore. And this was the moment where I came in. Season 4 has started and I never gave up on Riven. I promised myself whatever happens to this champion, I'm gonna keep on playing this champion and I will become one of the best Rivens in the entire world. 
I've played her in my rain games every single day and it only took me one month to push myself from platinum 1 to diamond 1 and in those days you did not have the master tier. Diamond 1 was the highest that you could go in that season. Back in those days you did already have the challenger tier but the thing is that you've only had 50 challenger slots. So all of the pro players, all of the players were in diamond 1. I've grown myself the title that I've always wanted to have. I was not famous at the time, nobody knew me at the time, but I did grow myself the title to myself that I've always wanted to have. This is the motivation that keeps me going. If some people ask how you can play only one single champion only, then this is why. She's fun to play, she's honestly great, I like the champion, she's amazing, and she's just fun to play ranked with, and I'm good with her. This is the key to success in this game. You have to become a one trick with one specific champion only. You have to make yourself a goal. I know that a lot of you guys are in silver right now or gold elo and I know your goal is to become a diamond or a master tier player. You can make that goal and you can make that happen. As long as you have the motivation, you can keep it up. Everybody in this game is able to get master tier or whatever rank you want to become. As long as you are willing to go for it, you can can make that happen. And the same thing applies for everything else. Do you want to become a rank 1 player of League of Legends? That you have to go and play 10 hours every single day. Do you just want to become a challenger tier player? Then the same thing applies. Do you want to become a YouTuber just like all of the other guys that made it happen? Then you gotta make videos every single day. And that applies for everything else. Do you want to become a live streamer? Then you gotta be live streaming literally 10 hours a day you have to go and make it happen don't sit back in your chair and wait for things to happen make it a grind if you want to become the best player of one champion only then spend all of your time into it and try to become one of the best anyway back to the point this is how i did it seven years in a row seven years of only playing riven because i've got so much motivation that keeps me going this is also the reason why I make guides on YouTube now and why I livestream a lot. I want to use my knowledge in order to help out the other Riven mains. This is just another way for me to look forward to. Every single day that I wake up I make videos and this is only making me more motivated. I read the comments of you guys. I know that there are some of you guys out there that watch my videos and because they watch my videos they have gone from like silvered all the way to diamond elo just in a few months of time because I helped them out. There's nothing more motivating than that guys. Anyway, to complete the story about what I've been telling you guys in Season 4, after the Season 4 has ended, I've been grinding with Riven ever since. Every single season I have been grinding and in Season 7 and Season 8, that's when I started to maintain Challenger tier, even getting to rank 7. Anyway, this was the answer towards the question of how you can play Riven non-stop for 7 years. It's just a matter of how you motivate yourself and how much you enjoy playing your champion. I hope you guys learned something about this video. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you are looking for a high elo Riven stream, make sure you check out my stream guys. I'm help. I'm trying to help people get better at League of Legends and also with Riven in specific. And if you're looking for a nice and friendly Discord community, don't forget to join my Discord server guys. And if you have any questions, just place it down in the comments right below. I'll make sure to read everything. So yeah, this was my journey of the 7 years. It's been a long time and it's been a joy doing. And we've got many, many more years to come, guys. Don't worry about that. We're gonna keep on going. More Riven content is coming. More guides is coming. And I will always keep you guys up to date with Riven. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll catch you guys up in the next video and also the next stream, man. Peace.